Hi Ashley. Hi hi hi. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. <sighs> Day two. I don't think they have put the AC on. It's really cold. Let me see what I can get. Anybody? <sighs> Come rub my. Oh my gosh, even Ashley is tired. We are tired, tired, tired. Hi, hi. Let me see what I can get a few people to keep us company in the home stretch. We are in the last hour. I am so tired. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to get home. I am really, really, really tired. Ashley is also very. Are you tired, Mama? She fell asleep at 3 30. Oh no, you, you just. No, from here you had slept too, right? Yeah, she slept, so we are really tired. Um, you know, I'm at the I'm at the clinic. I have my heated blanket. I have the other one. It's not a bed, yo. It's it's a chair. It's a it's an infusion chair. So let me see whether you can see it. It's an infusion chair. So it's just there. I'm confined there for eight hours. Um, it's an infusion chair. We are confined. I'm confined here, Ashley. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna. Ashley is just across the room from me. Um, let me see her. Ashley is just across the room from me. She she is really tired, like very 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 tired. Um, so this is our little room. As you can see, I make fun of that crush cut because it's always outside my room. <laughs> so the medication is there. I'm at home stretch. I'm almost done. They are giving it to me at. 300 meals an hour and uh, that is my setup i was you know that's my laptop i was working i'm still working it's still a work day for me and the way i say it is um regardless of what is going on in your life you have to kind of look at the pose i am really i look beat and i have the the, the you know the kikuyu lines you know anyway uh, enough of that um regardless of what you're going through you have to look you have to look at the positive side of life and uh, the positive side of me is that uh, i woke up this morning i'm alive i'm kicking i you know i have no complaints uh, i am blessed and then i have my sidekick my sidekick here with me she makes my days better and she knows it that's my daughter and if anybody can time dime, I don't know why all the time. Let me see what you have on, Ashley. <laughs> That's my daughter. She is wearing dime time t-shirt. I don't know. She loves dime. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, man. Today is Friday, my mom. Said man, man crush every day. Man crush every day, dime time. Yeah, yeah, you gotta <laughs> shout. Time. You gotta shout out dime a uh, dime. So anyway, yeah, regardless of what is going on in your life, I think finding that niche of positivity and um just trying to survive and just trying to push on and just trying to live and just trying to be positive and you know, uh, at times I have to humble myself and ask Ashley, am I being negative in this situation or am I, you know, or am I overreacting? Because I don't want to overreact in situations where I'm supposed to no, be. I have to tell my mom to calm down. Uh, and she tells me to calm down and she's telling me even right now, mom, I have to tell you to calm down. And, and it's always good to, yeah. Thank you, Hype. Hype is my my other crush how you doing my dear so mind your own business actually yeah hi panto so anyway i know with your anyway so you have to find um a level of positivity that overcomes uh everything negative that is going on with your life and as i was see you know i gave you my scroll doma story this morning because it's scroll doma awareness month I gave my story today. Hi, Paula. I gave my scroll down my story today. And that looked so, or it felt so negative and it felt so tough and it felt so. But above all that, I look for a place where. Hi, Shanira. Love you, sis. Um, I find, I have to find a place where I'm not looking 
at the death sentences the doc the doctor gives me or i'm not looking at the pain uh, i have to live beyond the pain i have to live beyond the negative things that i hear from my doctors or the life sentences because like for example as i was telling you this morning i was given six months to live in uh, in july or in 2015 and that end of that year i even actually had a very bad car accident so i could have died if god wanted me to die but i did not so i take that as a second la uh, second chance or very many chances that i have been given in life to come and work hard and to come and just be positive and to come and spread positivity and to come and just love on people and just to you know just to do what you need to do to to be better and to help other people understand that they are not alone um being in a position that i am in my position is not probably harder than somebody else is going through something else mine is probably easier than somebody else going through something some people are in the hospital some people you know it's <laughs> like i'm talking about people being in the hospital some people's conditions are worse than i am and yet they need uh, the you know they and some others are not as complicated as mine uh, but we find we find strength in encouraging each other and holding each other's hands so i find it um like my job to just be positive uh and just try to live one day at a time um I have, <laughs> oh my gosh, I have, um, so I have, um, what did I want to say? Uh, yesterday actually was my first day ever to leave the clinic and have a migraine. Um, uh, and the migraines are not the easy to deal with. So, um, so today I try to hydrate as much as I can. I am coming home. I'm coming home Eve. Um, so yeah so it's it's just like i you know live one day at a time um try to be as positive as as you can try to be try to live your life without regrets and trying to just uh, push on and you know push on and yeah just push on and keep on fighting everybody has a battle that they are fighting what you do? everybody has a battle that they are fighting you know you know what i mean everybody has a fight that they are fighting everybody is fighting a battle that we don't know about it could be finances marriages children whatever it is that you're fighting everybody has a, a fight that they are fighting i am fighting chronic illnesses that don't have a cure and i don't even know why my eye has decided to start tearing I'm fighting uh, chronic illnesses without a cure, but does that does that does that 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 does not tell me to stop fighting. That just tells me that I need to fight harder. Um, I keep on saying most of the time I say it. I can see you, everybody. Hi, Robert, Doctor Crow, sir. Um, I tell people that uh, these diseases are not to make me, you know, they are just to make me stronger. They're not to kill me, you know, and I believe that in every single way I say I might look okay, but in the inside I'm fighting these diseases that don't have a cure. Um, so I have to do what I have to do to make myself strong. Like uh, as I was saying this morning, I just learned like a, uh, a few, like two weeks or three weeks ago that uh, the, you know, the the disease has now hit my my heart it, it had hit my lungs and now i think it's attacking my heart too so what do i do i keep on fighting you know keep on fighting that is why i'm swelling and puffy and full of fluids and all that shortness of breath and but you you kind of have to keep on fighting you can't give up um just because something negative has been added to to, to your life you have to fight 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 you know i don't know what um the person that is this is uh the covid thing on my list uh, it's like um every time i come to the hospital they have to screen me so this is to tell the nurses and everybody else coming to my room that i have been screened actually we are wearing masks <clears throat> it's just that we are it's just the two of us I have my my N95. <laughs> I have the N95 mask, and uh, I wear it anytime I'm leaving the room or anytime somebody comes in. I'm wearing it. It's just that it's eight hours of it, and uh, it's just the two of us in the room. So, um, so it's yeah. 
so yeah this is just and they and uh, what they do this is a very good system let me show you it has yeah. date one to th it has like one to 31 and so they circle the month so they have circled june and they have circled the 26th so you cannot come in with the same bed like tomorrow and be okay they will check whether it's saying june the 27th so they circle yeah, okay. so they have new ones every day like what i wore yesterday when i came to the clinic i would not have come with it and they still screened me the same way they screened me yesterday so that is what is going on and then they, they have my name bad yeah with my whole government name on it and lillian wangeshin jerry and what they do is this bus bus whatever that is what they use to give me medication so they scan that every time they come to the room to give me medication so it's it's a it's a neat system and then as i tell you i have a pot it that is a podcast it's a power pot so they put a needle through there to the vein this potter card has a, has, a, has a catheter that is gone to my superior vena cava. That is how I get my medication. And then they put the tubings and they put it like that, like a baby, so that I don't pull it because I have, a, I'm very clumsy. So anyway, that is what I was saying. Everybody is, is fighting a fight that we don't know about. Everybody is fighting a battle. Everybody is fighting something. But what I usually say, if you have ever watched my videos, is do not give up before your breakthrough. Most of the time we want to give up right before our breakthrough. You have pushed so hard. You have pushed a year, two months. You have like tried whatever you're trying. You have been told what you have been told but just right before your breakthrough you want to give up don't do that keep on pushing because that is the best thing that you can do you know <laughs> keep on encouraging each other so um i have not been doing this i don't know even when the last time i did my my you know daily dose i like to do my daily dose of encouragement because that is how it is <laughs> i have been too lazy uh the problem is i have also been having a lot of players uh last weekend i was in bed saturday sunday saturday sunday bed was it saturday and sunday mama ashley i'm here with ashley so um saturday and sunday i was down with a lot a lot a lot of pain so i was in bed most of the weekend last weekend and this weekend i would try to be up but uh, i just had infusions i'm just like on the home stretch i have like 118 meals to go and i'll be done for the day um so you know uh, fight whatever you are going through we have gone through a lot some of us are in for the long term because it's a chronic illness i have chronic illnesses without a cure keep on pushing those who are having short-term illnesses keep on pushing those who are in the hospital keep on pushing those who are fighting whatever you're fighting whatever battles you're fighting yep keep on fighting you know it does not mean that my battle is more because it's an illness it, 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 it no as you know everybody's struggle or anybody's uh, everybody's fight is valid you know so yes hi bridget hi everybody <laughs> so yeah so that is what um you know that is what is going on i'm just here it's the second day i look beat i feel beat i am so tired um tired is an understatement i don't know whether you have ever sat down on a chair for eight hours and the only place you could go is the bathroom the pool is open yes mm -hmm. so yeah as i said i have my sidekick here with me she is my sidekick uh she just wore a mask so that i don't put her here i, I don't know what is going on with her so but I love her anyway. So, um, yeah, so that is what it is. Um, second day of infusions. The worst part is usually like a recovering from the infusion. Um, I think today and tomorrow, it's usually very brutal. Um, I already have started having migraines, so I'm praying. I have injections. My nurse over there will give them to me, so... Yeah, so we fight regardless of what the circumstances, regardless of what is going on in your life, regardless of what is happening, just keep on fighting. You know, you can't give up before your breakthrough. Yeah, so for me, the only thing is I'm looking for a cure. I don't know how we are going to ever get lupus, scleroderma, autoimmune diseases cure, but that is my hope. Um, 
that is my hope is that one day we'll find a cure so yeah um so i'm here i am just here i am tired 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 hola valentine i am really tired i am really beat i have been working most of the day um nothing really just to encourage everybody to keep on fighting just keep on fighting regardless of what you're going through regardless of what your battle is regardless of your circumstances regardless of everything that this life of uh, throws at you sometimes we are given a curveball mm. yeah we will do bridget um let me see in jerry amen miss uh, miss eunice yes yeah we, we we keep on you know yeah i'm not oblivious about it i have done a lot of research uh with the autoimmune diseases and uh, I, i'm just like i just fight every single day every single day we you know every single day what i do is just try to fight just try to be positive um it's very very hard to be positive when you're being given negative uh, reports every day but what can you do you just take that negativity and turn it around and be positive about it i i, I you know um the best thing that i can do is take care of myself uh, listen to my doctors uh, follow the treatment regimen pray and believe that god has everything in control in my life and keep it moving because the worst thing that an autoimmune disease you can do to with an autoimmune disease is stress yourself out it does not mean that we don't get stressed out our chronic illnesses and depression come hand in hand you know uh, but um, that does not mean that we don't you know we don't do what we are supposed to uh, so I follow my doctor's regimen uh, I keep a positive energy I try to do what I have to do to survive <laughs> And then, um, you know, I, I think um, I have the, the steering group here. You know, I have the steering group. Let me show you her. She's right there. My steering group is right there. That's my daughter. So what she does is just like uh, tell me, she just tells me what I need to do, how I can do it. And, uh, you know, she looks young. She's 16. But trust me, that is my sidekick. Um, I don't know how you know I don't even know how it could be if I did not have Ashley by my side I think I would have I don't know because I think she gives me every reason to fight Ashley people are saying hi to you come say hi you're too far they can't hear you so uh, oh she said tell them to say I said what's up girl Anyway, yeah, so that's my uh, So that is how you do it. I, I mean, I'm not perfect in any way. I'm not saying I'm perfect But I'm saying that you you know, we fight. I'm saying that um, Find your willpower to survive and find your willpower to fight and find something positive And you guys can share this. I forgot to say that you can share this because um, My videos are always uh, are always public um hi uh, my videos are always uh public um just because my job is just to spread awareness of autoimmune diseases and i like to share i like to share my you know i like to share my story and i like to share my journey just because you know we have a lot of people fighting battles that they don't you know we don't know nothing about like if you found me or you saw me at this on the streets you would not know that i'm fighting these monsters and it's not just one i have four autoimmune diseases that are overlapping in me um so the other day i was asking my doctor why am i gaining all this weight and um after looking and looking and looking and looking and they tell me it's the disease process and then they look they look they look and then they tell me that the other time i talked to my pulmonologist he's like you need to see your cardiologist because I think your heart is like working hard. And, you know, when you get, uh, they, you know, it's, it's what it is. And it's not that I don't eat healthy. And, you know, people say, oh, you're gaining weight because you're... No, I don't eat unhealthy. I try to eat very healthy. Um, the other thing is, um, how do you work out? How do you do 
workouts uh, when your joints and your body is always in pain. I have fibromyalgia, I'm always in pain. So it's, it's really hard to explain to somebody why you have gained over 50 pounds in less than a year. <laughs> that is over 100 kilos. Is it over 100 kilos or 25 kilos or whatever you want to say in less than a year? But again, it's, um, then you come into a process of loving the, the new person you're becoming um you know it starts with uh, i it starts with self esteem issues then you learn that this is the person that you're becoming so you start loving the new person that you're becoming and i know you know diseases and stuff changes our outlook it changes the way we look and um i have learned since like um with the scroll dom and you can go to my old pictures and you can look that with a scrawl doma, what happens is it hardens your skin. So I get a lot of scar tissue. I get a lot of scars. And then it has shrunk my mouth. And, you know, with the shrinking of the mouth, then I have lost, like, I, I broke some tooth. It, so it's it's like a lot of stuff going on at the same time. Um, so I have learned to love the new person that I'm becoming. Uh, you cannot, if you don't love the new person that you're becoming or the new person that you, you're evolving, it, it, that, you know, if you don't change, if you don't love the new person that you're becoming, then you start getting depressed and the, the inside of you is not changing. The person that you are is not changing. It's just the outlook, the physical look that is changing. So I have learned to just embrace the changes and just love the new me um full of scars you know i have shown my scars <clears throat> over and over like uh you know i there's a time i could not wear this is all scarred this is all the autoimmune disease doing like um i get those and uh it's just the hardening of the skin it's not contagious the, the autoimmune diseases are not contagious but what do i do there's a time i wouldn't wear a tank top like i like i am but i have learned to just embrace the person that I am becoming. Just love the person that I'm becoming. It's not a different person, it's still me. But instead of looking at me differently, I just love the fluffy, fat me, <laughs> the piggy me. I don't know. <laughs> I just love myself and embrace the person that I'm becoming. Because then if I don't do that, um, my self-esteem is going to dip. And then who is going to love me if I can't love myself? You know what I mean? Happiness has to start with me. So anyway, I was just trying to pass some positive vibes on this Friday. I tell you to keep on fighting. Um, encourage somebody going through something and just tell them it's not over yet. God has it in control. You know, God still has it in control. Don't give up yet. You know, fight your battles regardless. Just Remember that God has it in control. You know, um, I say that these diseases are not meant to kill me, but make me stronger. Maybe your situation is just like that, to make you stronger, not to kill you. You know what I mean? You know, um, just keep on fighting. Um, keep on fighting. This, sorry guys, um, keep on fighting. It's, it's hard. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying that fighting is going to be easy. I'm not saying that uh, holding on to hope is easy. It's not easy. It sure isn't. But it will be, what am I saying? Um, it, it will be worth just holding on to hope uh, to the end of it than giving up three quarter of the journey. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, we always, I usually say we always give up right before our right before our breakthrough and that is what happens most of the time we push 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 and then right before your breakthrough we give up and it's so easy to give up and keep fighting but today i just want to tell you you know like if i gave up 2015 when i was given six months to leave i would not be here to be telling you what i'm telling you right now that it's it you know it's possible to to survive the autoimmune disease and that as you can tell i'm having sh some some not shams, some shortness of breath it's just because my heart my lungs are not working properly um but you know i have stuff that is going on i i i have a lot of doctor's appointments coming up so i'm good and i put my life in you know in their hands and just trust that they know what they're doing and god will guide them in their treatment you know for my treatment and all that 
and just leave it in God's hand and move on. I, I mean, I don't even try to have a plan B about my treatments. <laughs> I just like tell God, you know, take over, take care of me and move on and just do what they want me to do and just keep on being positive because if you put negativity in it then it's not gonna be the way it is you know so yeah so this is this is how it is it's just a, a fight every single day and i know i look so beat and yes i am beat because i have been on this chair counting now eight hours i only have uh, 53 meals to go so 53 meals do your math, Ashley. 300 divided by... No, 53 divided by 300. Less than 10 minutes to go. We have like... Uh, yeah, we... I, I'm not going to do the math. I can tell you. I ain't doing the math. Um, so, let me see. But I, the, the way I am is... Uh, yeah, 10 minutes. <laughs> I still did the I still did the math. <laughs> I still did the math. Um yeah, so I have like 10 minutes to go. Yeah, I still did the math because that is the way I'm wired. Um I have 10 minutes to go for the you know to be at the end of the day and uh it's been it's been long. We got here at around 9:30. Um so it has been long day uh and then um they used a higher weight, so my medication was divided with a higher weight, which is okay. So it went a little faster than it would have, which is okay. I have been hydrating myself. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to look for something negative, but I don't. I try to look at, I try to spin my life in positivity in every way that I can. And it's not just you know just saying that i try to do i try to do that and i try to you know um protect myself from negativity as much as i can just because i want to thrive in positivity and i want to fight 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 um and you cannot fight if you're surrounded by negativity so try to remove all those that don't work everything that doesn't work in your in your in your favor try to surround yourself with your uh, with the uh, with the positive uh, positive energy try to do what you can to keep on fighting sometimes it's so hard like i remember sometimes i'm going through depression and it's like about of like not like uh, in depth it's just like you know yourself you know when you're slipping into a depressive mode and um you know and it's just because of the illness. It's not easy dealing with chronic illness. It's not easy when you're feeling sick all the time and you don't even know. And then you add pain and then you add life. And, you know, and I'm just giving you my situation. Other people's situations are even worse than mine's are. You know what I mean? You, you, and you don't want to combine. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's so hard to get out of it because you're just like, oh my gosh, now look. Um, I tell Ashley, I'm just tired of being sick. And there's a time I told her that she came running and she was like, don't you ever. <laughs> she, Mwah, you told me, don't you ever dead. You tell me all the time, don't you ever do or don't you ever quit. Don't you ever give up. What, what did you tell me the other day? You came running upstairs. <laughs> I said you quit with fighting. Oh, she told me you quit with your fighting. Like, <laughs> oh, I kind of oh, she that. told me. Mommy, I was guilt tripping you. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, I, I look at, uh, Jeton, I'll look at your inbox. So Ashley told me the other day. Oh, no, I'll even read them the messages. No, 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 don't do that. I'll she told me. My side. Mm, she I'll told me she no, told me you quit we are fighting um but the the way i have the relationship i have with my daughter ashley is like really <laughs> the relationship i have with my daughter ashley is quite uh is quite a, a good one um and i'll tell you without a doubt that uh we have a very 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 strong we can talk about anything ashley and i can talk about anything so when I'm feeling down, the first person I text is her. So um, I text her the other day, 
and she was like um whatever she's telling me she told me if you quit we're fighting and um i look at that now no, i asked you so this is what we're doing now <laughs> mm -hmm. anyway it, it's long no, it's no, no, it's no, fine no. Mm -hmm. Mommy, i told you you built history so mm -hmm. we can help like find a cure that people look up to you don't let us down <laughs> yeah you said you'll fight no matter uh, what she tells so if you quit yeah, she told me if you <laughs> if I quit your fighting. So anyway, yeah. So when you see me post her or when you see me brag about her and when you see me, it's because that is the real, you know, the real us. It's it's us. That is us. We have come a long way. And Ashley has, uh, for starters, actually, Ashley, I got uh, diagnosed with the first autoimmune disease when Ashley was nine years old. That is 20, 2013, and she started taking care of me since then. You better not let us down, Pete. <laughs> Somebody said that. I ain't giving up. It's just like those thoughts come up, and you know, um, I have too much. I have too much. You know, I have too much to 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 do, and too much to fight for than I have to. You know, yes. Yeah, so I can't just give up. Uh, I can, but sometimes those thought creeps it creep in, you know what I mean. Sometimes those thought uh, those thought will creep in, and it's not easy. That is why I'm saying chronic illness and depression come hand in hand, and sometimes it's not even uh, very easy to separate the two. You know, so um, so Ashley has uh, for people who don't know, Ashley is 16 years old, going to 17. Ashley started taking care of me when she was nine years old. So she has seen so much, and we have built a relationship. She has seen so much of me on my down, my high, my my lows, since she was nine years old. So uh, for us to have a relationship that we have, Ashley and I can talk about anything. Like when I say anything, I mean anything. Uh, since she was nine years old, she has been, you know, she has given me baths, she has helped me get dressed, she has, you know, she sits on my side of my bathtub and, <laughs> and snatches me if I try to fall asleep, you know, if I try to fall asleep oh, in the tub, she has grabbed me by, by my hair, she's, you know, she, she's funny, she is, she, you know, and she gives me life. Um, and I know that not everybody has a caregiver that cares as much as my daughter does my daughter has as i said she started taking care of me when she was nine years old so she has you know she has had um have seven years of practice <laughs> she has given me injections she has fed me she has turned me and you know given me baths helped me dress up like everything a caregiver can do ashley has done and so even like now she has been on that chair as long as we have been yeah, here and she's know. saying it's uncomfortable and all that so you have to look at uh the positive side of life you have to give yourself a reason to fight we have we are fighting for our marriages we are fighting for our children we are fighting for our schools we are fighting everybody's have have a fight that they are fighting your work your job your career your school your you're trying to get into this school everybody has something that they are yearning to fight for and what i'm trying to say is it's not easy i had to find the willpower to survive and the willpower to fight given the strength by my daughter i have to look at my life in a different light because I, I have an opportunity to look at the, you know, at how my life used to be, how Ashley has impacted my life, how, you know, I work hard. I try to work as hard as I can. I am a workaholic. You know, I go to work every day. Ashley, when is the last time I called in work? Do you know? Do you even remember? I don't call in work. <laughs> Well, she's, that, there was a reason to that because I was a bad child. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so she said when she was in the third grade, as you know, Ashley now is a junior. She's 16 years old. I don't call in work. I, I go to work every day regardless of how I'm feeling. I don't remember the last time. I have every reason to call in to work. I do. 
I can call them and I say today, I even have a intimidated FMLA, so I can use that as an excuse to call in, but I don't because I just having a breath of life is enough reason for me to show up. You know, just when you wake up in the morning and you get your first breath of air, you're like, ah, I'm alive. So life moves on. I'm not saying that those people who call in work are not justified in doing so. No, what I'm trying to say is that find what works for you and fight for it. All right. Anyway, I have only four more meals. So my, um, uh, my machine here is going to start. Beep. Minutes and you didn't listen. <laughs> Just sheesh. Um, I have uh, like four point, uh, I think it's less now. I have like three meals to go. And so my machine is going to start beeping here shortly. So with that said is just find, find your willpower to fight. Find your willpower to survive. Find your willpower to keep on going on. Find your willpower to keep on pushing. Find your willpower to fight. Just find your niche and run with it. Don't give up right before your, uh, your breakthrough. Because God has it in his hands. So I'm almost done here uh, with the infusions for this month. I will be back in the next four weeks. Um, yeah, I'll be back here in the next four weeks. They are going to come in now, try to help me um, get ready to go home. So, you know, just keep on fighting. Regardless of what your situation is, keep on fighting. Don't look don't look at the negative just try to look positive thank you thank you kenneth and uh if you have any questions you just um just shoot me a text or whatever 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 ask me what we are doing to help the lupus survivors in kenya we are selling t-shirts excuse me we are selling t-shirts uh, lupus awareness t-shirts and squaldom awareness t-shirts every single coin we get from the t-shirts goes to help kenyan lupus survivors get medication that is a story for another day but i just like to bring it up so that you guys can know what we are doing to make a difference in you know in the life of others because even with our own fights even in, with our own brokenness we have to fight somebody who is more broken than us and try to help them out so anyway thank you for all those who have purchased their t-shirts thank you for those who have supported the movement Thank you for, for supporting and loving me, even in my brokenness. I do really love you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I will see you later. Um, yeah, you have you can wear it with any jeans, Jatona. Oh, yeah, you can wear it with any jeans. Like, uh, uh, you can wear most... Ashley, what do you wear your uh, your lupus t-shirt? Ashley wears, uh, wears her hoodies and t-shirts with everything, I think. No, I wear my hoodies. Mm -hmm. She wears her t-shirts with ripped jeans and you wear your what? And vans. And vans. Okay. Uh, and then what do you wear your hoodies with? Leggings. She wears her ho hoodies with leggings. That is what Ashley does. So you can you can get Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, um God bless you all. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for your support. If you'd like to purchase a t-shirt, just let us know. We will send it uh, anytime soon. And all those proceedings are going to Lupus Warriors in Kenya to help them get uh, medical, to help them get what? Ashley, tell me. I'm, I learn out of words. Uh, it's called brain fog. It's uh, so to help them get uh, diagnostic clubs. As I said, medical assistance. Oh, medical assistance. Ashley corrected me and she told me medical assistance. So that is the short term for everything i wanted to say so thank you so much god bless uh, i love you all i'll see you later if you need a t-shirt or anything or if you have any question or concern just shoot me an inbox and i'll come back with you all right i know they're just about to come and help me out love you so much bye